Do you know what was happening in Vassenaar during World War II? We didn't either until Pippa, Leela, Ilya, and I decided to research it. Now we are going to share with you some of what we discovered. Our first discovery can be found at Crocus Strat 27. This is just a three minute bike away, away from our school. Look carefully at the sidewalk in this picture. Do you see two squares that look different than the others? These are called stumbling stones. In November 2021, the first 18 stones were respectfully placed in front of seven homes around Vassenaar. We visited three of them. As we stumble across them, we have a chance to pause and remember these victims of World War II. Each stone has a person's name on it, along with their birth and death dates. Also listed is where they died. Stumbling stones can be found throughout Europe. More than 8,000 of these remembrances have already been placed around the Netherlands. Here we are in front of house of Freddy de Silvia. He was also a teacher at Rylands. In Auschwitz, he was one of the thousands sent on a death march in the middle of winter. It is not exactly known when or where he died. The Nazis developed V-2 rockets during World War II. V-2s were the longest-range ballistic missiles ever made. They were four stories high, traveled faster than the speed of sound, and could not be intercepted once they were launched. Over 3,000 V-2 rockets were launched to England during the war. And where they were launched from? Almost all of them were launched from Vossener. We went to visit the intersection in Vossener where on 8th of De September 1944, the first V-2 rocket was launched. We decided to visit the Orthania Hotel Museum in The Hague. More than 25,000 people were imprisoned there between 1940 and 1945. We learned that two, three, four, or even six people were kept in each cell. Even though each cell was really meant for one person and there was only one bed, the rest had to sleep on the floor with just some straw. And during the day, it was forbidden to sit on the bed. You could only stand or sit on the floor. If a guard caught you, then instead of cabbage soup and bread, you would only get bread and water. It was very smelly in the room because there was only a bucket in the corner to go to the bathroom. When you visit, you can see the rows of cell blocks where the prisoners were kept. You can even see cell block G. This is where the prisoners who were going to be executed were held. This bell is a part of, a, of the memorial to remember where at least 250 prisoners from the Orange Hotel were taken to get executed. Are you ready to visit these places yourself? We can share the bike route with you so you can find each of these sites yourself. There is also much more to discover about what happened in this area during World War II. If you also have questions now, please visit the library, talk to your teachers, or start an investigation of your own.